What is going on, everybody? It is your boy, Matt Stingray. Thanks for checking in to the Rock the Watch channel. Guys, today we're going to do a review of the Roebuck Deviso. Let's rock this watch. Alright guys, so there it is. The Roebuck Deviso. Pretty cool. Pretty cool colorway. Just kind of take us a little gander there at the watch before we go over some of the specs and features. Really digging that cool shiny triangle right there, but we'll talk about that. So let's look at some of the specs and features of this watch. This watch has a 42 millimeter case diameter. And guys, let me just say something about that. When I measure something, I'll round up and down depending on, I'm not gonna say it's got a 41.79856761 case diameter. A lot of people will round up, round down, depending on if it's close, we've all done math. So it has a 42 millimeter case diameter. It is 12 meter, millimeters thick. It has a 50 millimeter lug to lug, and it has a 22 millimeter lug width. The movement in this watch is a Miyota 9039 automatic movement. It has a very nice stainless steel case with a pretty cool relief cut on either side. I am digging that. I like the fact that they threw a little bit extra in on a little bit of design, a little bit different design here on this on this uh, side of the case. Because most watches are just flat side and they're either polished or they're brushed. Uh, but this one, as you can see, is like I said, relief cut and then it's polished around the edge. That's pretty cool. I am, I'm digging that. It has 100 meters, meters, 100 meters of water resistance. It has two sign crowns, one at the two o'clock and one at the four o'clock. This one says TZ, not exactly sure what that means. That's cool. And this one has the Roebuck logo on it. So, and as you can see this top one, adjust the inter inner rotating chapter ring. It has a very cool carbon fiber bezel insert, which kind of ties this whole racing thing. And guys, if you haven't figured it out yet, this is a racing themed watch. These are very similar to the Gulf racing colors, which is awesome. Although if you hit the light just right, it comes off a of very like ice blue color. I like that. It's very cool how it changes in the light depending on how you angle it. If I, I hope the camera's picking it up. I hit it like this, a lot more blue. Hit it like that, it's got that real ice blue color. Along with the triangle at the 12 o'clock too, depending on how, there you go. See that? Shiny, kind of looking black or a dark red there. It's very cool. It's very cool. It has, as I stated before, 22 millimeter lug width. It comes on this very beautiful strap with quick release pins to be able to take it off, as you can see there. And now I gotta be a pain in the butt, try to put it by, and there it is, on camera, 
super cool, super easy. <laughs> it has a screw down stainless steel case back with looks like a water tower and their round rock it says round rock on there. I believe that is in Texas, which is where these guys are out of. As you can see, it says water resistance, 10 atmospheres, sapphire crystal. If I didn't mention that, it does have a sapphire crystal. Has a very flat sapphire crystal. Got a little bit of a lip there above the carbon fiber bezel insert, which is very cool. It has applied indices and a number at the 12. It has the Roebuck logo there with the name and it says automatic right there in the orange stripe. I really like this colorway guys if I hadn't said that before. It has, as stated before, an inner rotating chapter ring. So you can line it up and say, I'm gonna time something. Put it right here on the minute hand and boom, you got a rudimentary timing system. Not as good or, or as accurate or you can't get as much data as like a chronograph. This is still very cool. These are not screw down crowns, neither one of them. However, the bezel action on this is awesome. It really is. It's really nice. It's much better. I got to say it's much better than my Seiko Alpinist. And everybody knows the kind of issues that the Alpinist has with its inner rotating bezel. This does not feel like that. There is no play. If you turn it just a little bit, it moves. So there's no play. There's no looseness, no up and down uh, movement in the bezel. You could line it up and everything pretty much lines up right where it should. So I dig the little red accent there on the second hand. Okay, that's super cool. This does have BGW9 Super Luminova all over the indices, the hands, uh, yeah, and the 12 o'clock there. So let's get a loom shot and see how good that is. It's been sitting here cooking under the studio lights and I will hit it with a flashlight again, see if I can really ramp it up. Well, that's kind of cool. You can actually really see that carbon fiber bezel insert, which is pretty awesome. That adds a lot to the whole racing theme. A lot of race cars nowadays use carbon fiber in their vehicles. So that's pretty cool. Let's get some of these lights off here and see what we are working with in terms of loom. Very nice. It's kind of, as you can see, it's kind of a blue color, which I think the BGW9 tends to have that more blue color, but it is applied very neatly. It, it's very sharp. How long it lasts, I don't know, but it's very cool looking. It is right on the money. That's good loom right there. Oh, also, if I haven't mentioned before, yes, this is AR coded. I don't know if, I don't know how many layers it has, but I think you can hit it right there. Kind of getting that blue color right there. So it is, as stated before, a dead flat sapphire crystal with AR coating. It is very nicely polished around the bezel and, as stated before, around the edge of this nicely relieved case. Really nice brushing on the lugs. I mean, all in all, this is a awesome watch. Now, one of the things I would like to see, oh, by the way, let me hit on this uh, uh, real quick. So this is how your Deviso and I believe probably all their watches, they have several different models. Go check out their website. I'll put a link to it below. But this is how your watch will come in this very nice case. It's a cool leather case. It's got this I actually kind of dig this little magnetic latch on there. Peel it out, slide it out. You got your space for one watch. Put it in there and close her on up. Very cool. That is really cool right there. I would like to have seen 
a metal bracelet option. I think I'm I'm more of a personally more of a bracelet guy. Uh, I like the leather and I understand the whole leather thing with the racing theme and all that kind of jazz. It's really cool. But I'll bet you you can get like a 22 millimeter strap code bracelet for this. That would take it to a whole nother level. I think then you got a home run. It's a very nice watch. It, it really is. But for me personally, slap a bracelet on there, whole nother level. And then it'd be really cool. So let's see what it looks like on the wrist. But before we do that, you know the deal. We got to do a wristwatch check. And what am I rocking today? Today I am rocking my Tassot Sea Star 1000 with Powermatic 80. Very cool watch. Very reliable. Very good watch in the $500 range. This is a, a heavy hitter. I dig this for 500 bones. So let's see what this watch looks like on the wrist. This is a really nice, really thick strap. Very well made. Oh, well, that looks good, man. That, that looks good. You could press this into a dress while up. Very cool buckle. Missed that. Very cool logo right there on the buckle. I dig the fact that it's off to one side and not right in the middle. Or they didn't just write Roebuck on there like a lot of companies do. Threw the logo on the side there. That's very cool. You could definitely press this. Like I said, it's a driving theme watch, racing theme watch. But you could definitely press this into a dress watch scenario. Nice looking, man. Nice looking. So guys, if you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. And as always, rock that watch.